Like, shit like it's that. Not that. I don't have like a real mic stand either for this. It's just kind of laying here. Like laying there, like as it not connected to anything. No, it's connected to like this little clip for a laptop, but. But it's not clipped onto anything. No, it's not clipped on anything. Okay, that might be hello. Do, 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 do. I can hear myself. Hello. Are you guys not gonna tell us that we're live, so we're gonna stare like a bunch of idiots? <laughs> Are we live? Well, Anybody in the chat? Are we back? Are we live? I see the stream. I think SD trash boat. Hello, hello. Okay, we're 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 alive probably. They're just uh. Okay. So we're good. Hello. Oh, okay. Hey, we're back. Uh, okay. Are we back? All right, got it. All right. I don't yeah. fuck ourselves. Okay. All right. So, Will, you said you had something to uh, tell Vincent. Yeah. So Vince, like, as far as when you're commentating or listen to commentary where do you draw the line between i already like i know what's going on i don't need you to tell me that versus someone that's doing play-by-play -play. like where does it like i don't know where where does it where do you get annoyed about say jump so much that makes them not good at play-by-play -play or whatever um it's more so the stuff that he tries to add um it's just like irrelevant i don't really like it Stuff like that. Like um, a, an example, even from this recent thing, is like the first day of E League commentary. Like they were just, it's like they were trying to fill like as much time as possible. So there was like no dead air like on the commentary at all. And then like, cause like I don't know what the fuck the reason was for that. But if you look at all the other days of the commentary, they were like much more like they were much more loose with it, and it seemed to like flow a lot better. It's not like they were just talking for the sake of talking. Yeah. You know, that's like the best example that I can give you just for that. Because Sejam is white. No white people are good commentators. Well, uh, I no mean, I'd imagine a lot of a lot of that goes with having experience commentating with each other yeah. and like oh, yeah, getting a sure. feel for like how like when when the other person's gonna you know interject or whatever. That's so, something. Uh, if we were talking about that, like the person that was really good about that it was Spooky, because he had to do commentary by himself for so long that he was like pretty good at doing play by play, like. He could interject his own style into what was happening on screen also. But if some random dipshit came and sat with him, he would, could, like, play off of them also. Like, he was really good at that, Yeah. surprisingly. So that's kind of how I feel about that. Okay. As far as play-by-play, -play, it's like, if you're going to just tell me exactly what's happening and not, like, say anything or, like, not, like, try to, like, hype up what's happening, like, what the fuck are you even doing? Like, they can see that shit. Like, you don't just need to talk for the sake of talking. You can talk when okay. it's tense, or you could shut the fuck up when it's tense too. To add to that, also, also it's like it's like there's a set thing to do. Well, I mean, it's, it's kind of hard to describe like how to do it with that if you like don't know like how to do it if you have never commentated before. Yeah, well, I mean, I think like a lot of those comp like say jam or whatever. I think probably he gets a lot of uh, invites or whatever because I mean he probably just appeals more to like. A casual or new jack that doesn't even know what they're watching and yeah that's why I, that's how i felt about um james chen and ultra david for a long time also but i feel like they're much better at doing that than he is at this point right. i'm not saying he couldn't get good because i think i think ultra david was like probably one of the worst commentators ever when he first started <laughs> but like he's pretty fucking good now so he's all right so so maybe in the future like say jam will actually you know, evolve into uh, like a yeah. Good commentator. He's got to develop a personality first, though. Like it's like, <laughs> dude, it's like watch. The, he's like the he's like the mayonnaise of like commentary, dude. He's just like, ugh. It's like this guy's just disgusting. Like I can't I like do it. mayonnaise. What? I bet you do. But well, anyways, do you have any more yeah, questions? I don't, I don't know how we are, like got started on this, but I think it's. Pretty well, we're just talking. No, I, I I ask you, um, what makes you not <laughs> like Z and C J? Cody die. Did you die, Cody? Can we hear him? No, I think it's because I'm not uh, yeah, talking or moving. That's why. So uh, I'm just listening. He's gone because of depression. Got it. So any more? Uh, yeah, I think you know. I think commentating is is really hard, man. Like people. Yeah, it's not easy for sure. People always talk how you know th this big talk about yeah I can do it blah blah, and when they finally get on the mic, I mean it's like what the it's fuck are these guys going to talk about? Yeah. I mean yesterday, it was tough because even though you know you might not like these certain commentators. All of the the sports the the esports arena whatever is uh, the, the, their their commentators were gone man like Rip was in there Say Jam yeah, even Tasty Steve do? like were, they were not there so you know they got left with um you know um Range Vicious and all that other stuff and then he, he, even Corey Bell was on the fucking mic oh I yeah, I, it, I love that kid with all like, my heart but why the fuck was he on the mic like what the, you know what I mean it's just yeah just putting random people like off of 
like just random players on the mic is like the worst thing you could do. Cosplayers, like, like they probably have no fucking clue what's happening or how to do it. So I'm not saying like I'm a like really good at it. I'm not. I'm pretty shitty too. But at least I understand like what's good and what's bad and like what you should and shouldn't do. It's just like all the, every commentator like like all the new school FGC commentators like I'll call them that. It's like they only know esports commentary from other games and they try to do that and it doesn't fucking work for fighting games. It's like it's just not how you do shit. I, in my opinion, you don't have to feel like it's not like it's not like a Dota match where you're trying to fill time because like nobody's fucking doing anything. All they're doing is farming. You don't have to like talk about stats and shit. Like nobody fucking cares. These games move a lot faster than that, and that style of commentary doesn't work for fighting games at all. But I keep trying to I keep seeing people try to emulate that style, and it just doesn't work. Yeah. That's in my opinion, at least. All right. Yep. Pretty. All right. So um. Yeah, commentating is not it's not it's not it's not easy, man. I gotta tell you that right now, man. And a lot of my favorite commentators don't even commentate no more. So, I yeah, mean, sorry, I, I really. What, <laughs> I think, what do I think about Tof and Bobby Scar? Um, I don't watch a lot of Smash, so like I can't really commentate on that. But like, uh, I think they're call. probably they're probably decent at what they do because that game moves really fast, also, and you kind of have to like, you can kind of be a little bit more freestyle with it. So I'm assuming they're all right, but. I don't know. At least Bobby Scar is like he has enough of personality to be funny. Where I'm sure he could inject his own style into the commentary. I think he'd be fine. Tof, I don't know who that is, so I'm not sure. That's the the Watts guy, right? Yeah, I think I, I think it is. He's like always wearing a Hawaiian shirt. I think SD Watt. No, no, not that, that guy. Not that guy. Not that guy. Uh, Eric Watts. That's oh, that, that guy. Like Watts. Oh, I don't. I've never heard him commentate before. I'm not sure. I don't know. I'm. It's Smash, so I'm gonna say it sucks. You know, just based on cool, but. All I'm gonna say is okay. those two guys see, are always um, commentating majors, so I mean, so they, they, I guess they have to be likable, unless like they're the only two jackoffs that can do it. But I've seen Bobby Scar not only commentate um, Smash, but he's been on other Street Fighter shit too, and I think he's a funny yeah, he guy. Did, he did okay. He did yeah. okay at Street Fighter. He's a pretty funny guy yeah. when he's on the mic. I can understand. He has a personality. Yeah, he's like. I would only assume that he would be decent at it. Just yeah. like, just look at him. Like he just looks funny. You know. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> All right, all right, okay, so that was a good topic. Uh, what? Yeah. No. I, I think, like, a good example of, like, a not-so-crazy, like, hype commentator is probably, like, Ryan Hunter, in my opinion. Like, yeah, that guy's really good. He just knows what's going on, and he tells you, and he doesn't need to say some bullshit to, like... Yeah, if you talk about, like, somebody good. does good play-by-play -play and knows, like, really crazy situations that can explain them without fucking up the flow of the match, he's, like, a perfect person. Who, yeah. who's he's been doing it for a long time also, so that's another reason why. People don't know about that shit, but he's been doing that shit forever. Yeah, I mean, optionselect.com. Yep. Check the tapes. Does that, plug. does that Ryan Hunter guy still commentate? Yes, he does. Yeah. He, he did Evo. <laughs> he commentated uh, Guilty Gear Evo DSP. last year. And, yeah. Okay, all yeah. right. Um, hmm, is there anything else you guys want to add on to the whole commentator uh, topic, maybe? Yeah, when the option select stream was live, there was another guy in there named Cyrax who was also pretty good at commentary, but he was like the complete opposite of Ryan Hunter. He was like kind of like out of control and crazy. He would just say like funny shit all the time. Like they worked pretty good together. But since that stream doesn't exist anymore, I don't even know what happened to that guy. But yeah, Sage Jam sucks. Well, all right. So the last couple of podcasts, we had uh, the whole like how do we get better segments. And I kind of want to go on more about that. Uh, so, you know, I saw someone post earlier, so I'm going to ask Will, because I like how Will really gets into these uh, topics. Um, we And, we, you know, the sad thing is we probably kind of went over it, probably. But people keep asking now, not just in the chat room, or, I mean, in the, the fight page, but also in person, is when people pick a character, they always ask, how do I use this character? Like, what should I be doing? Um, not just how I'm playing the game, but the character-wise. So, Will, I want to ask you, if I came up to you and asked you, um, hey, how can I use so-and-so, uh, what should I do, or, what, um, you know, fre you know a fresh new character, or, I mean, a fresh new player, um, mm -hmm. what would you tell them, what would be your approach to trying to help this um, new player of the FGC out? Um, well, like, in uh, Street Fighter, in Street Fighter Five Sense, like, since there's not much neutral, I guess, uh, depending on what character you pick, you gotta pretty much find which button crush counter is in neutral, and yeah. you just kind of randomly throw that right out. Here. Yeah, and then once it hits, you gotta uh, find a conversion 
off that crush counter to get in on your opponent. So like with Ken, that's Roundhouse and Stand Fierce. Stand Fierce, right? Where like Roundhouse, I don't know, it kind of it's slower, but it, it hits sometimes like farther. I don't know. It's yeah, weird. It goes so, further. Like, it's a counter poke, you know, which yeah. is kind of what you're looking for. It just isn't as good as the other ones. So if you're not jumping on your opponent with Ken, you're kind of just throwing that button out, maybe fishing for a crush counter. And then when it does crush counter, uh, since the window to cancel it and to run is so long, you could just always like buffer run after either of those buttons and you delay it a lot. So if it, if it just if they just block it and you can just still press it and then you won't run, right? So you're just kind of like fishing for those two buttons to crush counter and get a knockdown and then you can start your mix-up game and then hopefully kill your opponent. Uh, so yeah, with Ken, that's like a combination of that. Uh, like it's kind of the same thing with Akali with uh, Roundhouse and Fierce and I guess a Sweep, I don't know. Uh, with other characters, it's not necessarily the same because they don't really they don't really get much off their crush counter from like a far farther distance. So like a good example of that I would say is like Cami. You don't really see Cami's doing uh, roundhouse in neutral like to get a crush counter. So like Cami's tool to get in on their her opponent is just basic walk speed and her other good buttons that. Uh, can close the gap uh, and get in on an opponent. So, like, uh, crouch medium kick buffered into spiral arrows, like, a really good tool um, to use. Uh, stand medium kick is also really good just to keep your ground and um, hit your opponent or keep them away or whatever. So, like, I don't know, it really depends on the character that you're using because not every character is the same as far as what they actually want to do. Um, yeah, Birdie's roundhouse is, like, ridiculous. His crouch, I think his crouch roundhouse is even better, because it's, like, spaced right, you can't really punish it, and then if you get someone that's trying to punish it, you could just do it again, like, and Mm -hmm. punish them. It's, it's like, retarded. So, I mean, yeah. Like, you just gotta figure out what your character does, or what they need to do to win, and then if it's if it's using heavy buttons in neutral to get a crush counter and then starting your offense after a knockdown, then do that. If it's just doing other normals that are cancelable into a special, uh, then do that. If it's just jump and then um, do a light move and then a command grab, just do that. Because that's like as far as like the metagame of the new- neutral in the game is, I would say. Because there's not really much, um, but yeah. And, and then if you're not really sure what your character's supposed to do, just look at people that know what they're doing, like the pros, I guess. Like watch videos and stuff about the character. Yeah, watch anything. videos. It's like there's so much footage out there that it's really not that hard. And like I think another, like besides YouTube, I think like actually um, the replays on CFN are pretty good because you can just look up people like the high ranking people that are on there and you can find a lot of good replays from like you know most of the pros and lesser lesser known people and then you can just filter by matchup or whatever so so yeah all right that's how you play okay that's really good that's good info uh vince i was just talking about uh in regards to street fighter 5 yeah let's talk about street fighter (sighs) 5 man this game is um not very complicated, man. You need to find your characters uh, positive on block buttons. Mm-hmm. If one of them is a crush counter, just press it like repeatedly. Just do it. And if you do get a knockdown, you need to find out what you can or can't do off of it. This whole game is just meaty setups and pressing buttons and hoping something works. Like there's really not a lot to it. There's no like spacing. There's no footsie wars. I mean. They can be if you're fishing for button into V trigger into a combo into another setup, but like it's really not complicated. You get in, you press your uh, plus buttons, or you press your crush counter. Try to get a crush counter or try to get a combo. If you knock them down, can you get a setup? If so, go for it. If not, don't do it. Can you wake up with buttons into V trigger? You should fucking absolutely do it all the time because that's the way you're gonna get your damage easily. Like the game is not complicated. That's all this fucking shit is. Like 
there are no anti airs. There's no <laughs> there's no whiff punishing. The normals all suck. There's no active frames. So it's really just boils down to that. Like frame traps plus buttons. Pressure crush counter pressure, if you can. Yeah, crush counter. Yeah. And... If you have a knockdown setup, you should do it all the time. And there you go. That's the fucking game. Yeah, I feel like a lot a lot of our new players are always asking questions like that. And I feel I really do feel like everyone is telling them, you know, what they should be doing. But it's also like I I, I don't want to sound like that guy, but I feel like they're just that they're they're thinking too hard about the game. They're thinking way too hard about the game when it's so simple it's it's really uh, not more complicated than you want to make it yeah especially this game yeah so i mean if you're if um to all those new players out there i mean don't don't think way too hard about it i mean despite all the shit talking and jokes uh people talk about this game if i mean people are still playing it people can talk so much yeah, shit if about you it. play it more power to you man but like don't think about it too hard man like there's really not a lot to think about yeah so um, yeah, i mean and even if you are good at this game, you can get fucking blown out by some idiot because, yep. like, that's just how the game functions. Like, I'm, you can't really let stuff like that discourage you if you do want to play it. Yes, yes, yes. All right. Uh, Guilty Gear? Uh, not <laughs> okay, same question, you really, but for if, Guilty Gear? If you Gear? really are asking that question for Guilty Gear, you need to find out what your character can do to, like, win. Like, there are certain things that, like, if your character lands this, they could win just off of that. Like, if you're Melia, any hit into Jump H, you can win the fucking game off of that. If you're playing Raven, if you land one sweep yes. into Ball, you can win yeah. off of that. If one Rekka into you, back turn, dude. One time into Rekka into back turn, yep. you can win off of that. That's the most basic way to, like, look at that game. Yes. Does your character have something like that? Can they win off of one touch of that? Can If Chip hits you and knocks you down and you're in the corner and he can run his... 50-50s on 50-50s, like, he can win off of that. That's pretty much how that game functions. If that's a serious question. If it's not a serious question, you just have to be an anime lord. <laughs> pretty much. That's why characters like Dizzy and, like, Potemkin and stuff are, like, called not good, because Dizzy doesn't have any kind of way to set up if I hit this, I can win. But Potemkin does, so, I mean, I guess that's why he's sort of better. I don't know. And the neutral is real in that game. Good luck trying to get in on Faust when he's just pressing far S and <laughs> shit about it. <laughs> yep. Man, Guilty Gear is so cool. Um, okay, yeah. so um, there's not much to talk about. Um, I guess what we're going to talk about now, we'll just lead into the Empress Cup. Unless you guys have anything else you want to add on to anything we were talking about? No, this is, we're going pretty good right now, I think. Because I feel like, you know, there are things to talk about. Like, they did announce um, or show a couple new characters in Injustice 2, uh, that new uh, Bad is Good trailer. I think everyone in that game looks pretty badass right now. Scarecrow finally got revealed, or... They finally yeah, showed no, him. This is one hundred percent right. So, um, so, you know, Grodd, all the, or Captain Cold. I mean, everyone looks really badass in that game. I'm excited. Um, you know, even though I have to pay a hundred bucks for a full game or some shit like that, but I do love that game, and um, that's why I'm gonna probably buy it and all that shit. So hopefully, everyone else does um, um, gets into it like we did. So I don't know. I'm really excited. It's a new fighting game. It's coming out before Tekken. So <laughs> we'll see how it is, man. Um, all right. So. Tomorrow at TTF is the Emperor's Cup, and um, if you're in this room and you are not going to the Emperor's Cup tomorrow, we will talk to you about why you should go. Um, basically, tomorrow is going to be a 3v3 tournament that only happens once a year, um, and then, but what makes this uh, tournament so special? Um, Emperor's Cup is three of the events I throw at TTF that I consider, like, majors, I guess, like, my, my personal, like, big what tournaments i want to be big including uh paradise hill showdown big kahuna and emperor cup are the three main tournaments that i consider like majors in san diego um yeah pretty much um oh will gone but um so that so uh, will's gone basically no, his nice. picture his camera just went down um so yeah so really tomorrow awesome. is a 3v3 um the cool thing about the emperor's cup is that we give out trophies so the whole first um first place team will get trophies um, and then a new thing we have added on is that um, Karen, if you guys know Karen, um, she's an artist and she is really, really talented person. And she did art for the Emperor's Cup. So the winner of the the winners of the Emperor Cup will also get art. Um, so it's, they'll get yeah they'll get three pictures and um, yeah we I have the art. Um, I mean I, I don't have it with me right now, but she sent me what it looked like. And I'll you know what I, I kind of want to like. 
save it but I, I, I it's too cool like i want to show it to you guys but i'll show that to you later so basically the emperor's cup is a 3v3 tournament um so you know get your guys teams of three um anyone can um enter it it's not like san diego only i mean teams of uh, people from la mexico blah 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 they can enter um it's a uh, character it's character locked so if you choose your character oh. you have to stick with it um but you can have multiple um or you can have the same character on the same team so if you want three nakalas you can have three nakalas if you want two birdies and a ken you can have two birdies and a ken um <sighs> But the ter but the whole purpose is is character locked, um, and how the format is gonna be it's gonna be Pokemon style. So what Pokemon style is, is that one um, you get your order of people that you want to go. I mean, if you want to do a like a what's it called? I I forgot what it was called. Blind pick. A blind pick. If you want to do a blind pick, you can do a blind pick. So basically, you have the order of your team. Blah blah blah. Um, but basically how it goes is that let's say me, Vince, and Will are on a team and we're playing um you know oh three God. three random jobbers. So uh Will 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 go first. So if Will wins, he stays on. He only has to get off if he loses. So if Will wins the first game and the second guy beats him, he gets off and then me or Vince play. So basically and get off. Yeah, and then you play. Yeah. And then you lose. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, basically, you, you stay out until you lose, so one person can OCV a team. So that's what Pokemon rules are. Um, it's going to be one game, because I kind of want to do, like, uh, in honor of, like, uh, you know, SBO and Masters Cup, where it's just going to be one um, one game, one set. But the only it's difference... single limb? Huh? No, it's not going to be single limb. That's what I was going to go okay. to. And then, they'll, um, it'll be two out of three once you hit the finals. So it's still going to be one set, one game, but you just have to win. Like It's going to be, like, or... um. One, like, yeah, one game. But it's going to be two out of three. Um, and people are worried about time and all that shit. So, because Saturday is um, Vanguard uh, Chapter 1. And some of us are going there. So, I don't want you guys staying until, like, 4, you know, in the morning. And, like, you guys have to drive. Which, you know, I don't mind that. But, um, so basically what's going to happen is that we're going to run through the tournament as fast as we can. Or not as fast as we can. We're going we're gonna to run through the tournament at a steady pace. Um. I'm going to have, like, four stations dedicated. So if we do get eight, you know, teams, you know, for, uh, first round will be four people. So all four of those stations will be filled up. So we'll probably – in the end, um, team tournaments run pretty smoothly um, if there's always this open stations. We will have a setup dedicated for casuals, of course, for those people not in the tournament. Um, like every big – or not, like every Empress Cup, if I get eight teams or more, I will throw in an extra $100 into the pot. Um, and that, that's about it. I can't really, oh, I'm sorry. So basically, um, if I have seven teams or less, it's, uh, first and second get paid out. If there's eight teams or more, first, second, and third get paid out. That's how it was last year. Um, but yeah, that's the only thing I have to probably throw in about that. And it's just gonna be a team tournament. I mean, we had seven teams last year. It was pretty badass. Um, we have one of the winners last year, um, with us in this podcast. Hey, but... share the trophy. But sadly, I uh, sadly, you know, Damn. there it is. But I guess times change, and you just find bet, uh, you know, other people. So uh, unfortunately, if you guys were here for Will's last uh, call out, he will not be defending that trophy. Um, well, I will with a different team. With a different team. That oh, that'd be so badass, dude. You know what? I'm I'm cheering for you guys, man. Um, but yeah, so we do have a lot of teams already signed up, man. Like we, I think we have six right now, so that's pretty badass. Um, or six that told me that they're they're gonna play. But um, I don't know. You guys should just come out. Team tournaments are really badass, and I don't have that many uh, team tournaments. I think I really do think um, the only time at TTF I'm ever gonna have three v threes are during the Emperor's Cup. Two v twos and five v fives might be a different story. The five v five was pretty bad. The regional tournament, we'll try to get that, that again cool. somehow. But um, if you're a free agent, just post up, man. What's up, Jamal? But uh, yeah, come out tomorrow. There should be casuals. Uh, the team tournament. I'm not gonna run any other tournaments tomorrow. Only the the three v three. So um, yeah. But um, you guys want to add anything about it? Want to tell why people should come out or uh, come and then play or what? 
Um, it's just going to be funny, dude. That's the number one thing. Team tournaments, there's always some funny shit that goes on. There's somebody that should never win a match, but meltdowns. it's a single elimination. It happens. And, yeah. like, just, just it's just going to be funny, dude. Like, team tournaments are probably the most fun type of tournaments that you can be in. Like, you want to win, like, really bad to not, like, let your teammates down and shit, but the atmosphere is just, like, yeah, totally different from singles. <laughs> yeah, and Sean won a bunch of matches, you know? Yeah, so it's I just, will say, it's just, like... It's the funnest format, I think, for free. Yeah. Like, it's not even close. People definitely play a lot different when they're in in a team setting like that because I don't I don't think I've ever seen Rico play as well as he does when he's ever been in a team tournament. Yeah, like, I know it's fucking if, crazy. It's like retarded. Like if he played as well as he does in a team tournament in like singles, he'd probably be like consistent the top three, the best player yeah. in the world. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. If he didn't lose all those matches, he would have won like Evo. He would have got that. He made top eight at SCR. That's pretty cool. He did. All right, you guys want to add anything else about that? Uh, no, I mean, okay. just show, show up or don't. Yeah, it's all right. Sick, nasty tournament. Yeah, there's uh, not that much to talk about today, man. I mean, I can just go into the Wednesday night fights. Yesterday was pretty badass. Um, oh yeah, let's talk about that. Uh, yesterday, um, for uh, usually, um, I attend the Wednesday night fights as much as I would love to attend Wednesday night fights every fucking Wednesday. I can't, but the days that I do have off Thursday, I uh, I make it out. So I was off this week, so I decided to go to Wednesday Night Fights. It's always a good uh, experience. A lot of good people up there, um, and a lot of people, you know, that they're all right people, but sometimes they're like, man, <laughs> why are you, you're a person. But, um, yeah, I decided uh, to go. Yeah. yeah can you elaborate on that? I can't right now. Yeah. Oh, the okay. car, oh, yeah, um, the Ricky Diaz, the guy that fucking ra- won and duns and rage quits online, he's there, you know. Um, okay. Yeah, so is there anything... I don't know, but um, yesterday the car load was Richard. Load. Uh, dropping loads. <laughs> Richard dropping loads, dude. It was a uh, Richard, Manny, Alexis, and Javi, aka Trashboat. I drove them up there, and um, shout out to all the other people that went. I mean, um, like Dante, man, Dante, he's got like. As soon as he got his car, he did not miss out on anyone's night fights, man. That's all I gotta say. That guy is a true champion. But Dante was there, the homie JJ, um, and Biggie. Those guys were both wearing their TTF shirts. That was pretty badass. And um, nice. And then, and then, dude, the whole Temecula crew was there. Uh, Victor was there. Uh, Toko, yeah, yeah, Nate, uh, Big Rig, Holy JD, shit, everybody. That's um, pretty cool. D Lang and Alex were there. Um, that was really hey, badass. They, how did they do in Guilty Gear? Uh, D Lang got fourth. He beat. It's oh, funny. Shit. He got fourth and he beat um Alex. So that was pretty crazy. Yeah, that was pretty yeah, that's fucked up. Dude. That's um, army, dude. Yeah, and, you know, I, and then what? and then an auto pimp was there. You know, and you know what that brings. You know what I mean? So uh. <laughs> good for that guy, man. God bless that guy. <laughs> yeah, JJ has and Jamar, uh, Jamal. Um, so yeah, and then um, it was really cool. Um, I love going to Wednesday Night Fights. I love playing uh other tournaments. Um, everyone did all right. I mean. Unfortunately, um, Javi didn't make it out of his pool. He did beat um, Nuri Josh, which was pretty cool. He lost to Bushin style, and he lost to Corey. He had to play Corey Bell to get out of his pool, so that that, that was unfortunate. Um, Manny, I don't know who Manny lost to, but he did not make it out of his pool either. A ham sandwich. Um, oh, he lost to um, he lost to Azad. He lost to Azad, and he lost to uh, I don't know who else he lost okay. to. And then uh, and then we all know that um. Oh, and Alexis made it out. And it's funny because Alexis, his whole gameplay was he if um if he doesn't run into Commander Jesse and Stupendous, he'll win the tournament. But unfortunately, he ran into Commander Jesse and winners. <laughs> and when he made it out of his bracket, he played Stupendous um out of uh, pools. So that's what happened. And then um and like um and then not uh, last but not least, Richard. Uh, congratulations to Richard. That guy boo. um he won the he won Wednesday night fights. Boo, boo. No. He had a tough, yeah, boo. He had a tough, uh, pull. he beat a lot of people, man. He beat, um, Bushin Styles, which is always a tough one. He beat two Rashid players back to back. He beat Cali Power. He beat, um, Bushin Style. He had a really dude, cool if match. He, if he didn't beat Alex Valle, dude, I was going to be so upset. <laughs> he played Valiant. Those matches are always fun to watch, uh, Bison and Mirrors. And then he played Alex Myers. He, and he beat, fucked up Alex Myers. He bad. fucked up Alex Myers pretty bad, man. And then, then they played. And then and they, they played. played. <laughs> And then so yeah, man. Him. So he pretty much okay. yeah. Um, Richard did really good. Congrats, man. Um, a lot of the uh, SC yeah, it's pretty cool. 
uh, driving up there with all those guys. Cause I, I, I talked to a lot of the players. Like I talked to, uh, I was talking to Paul Black Skills and a lot of them. He's like, every time you guys come up here, it's like you guys throw uh, like a wrench in our like the gears for the brackets. Like, man, like like you guys always fuck people up, and like it's always like a different bracket when you guys show up, which was really cool. Um, but yeah, and then um, I don't know. Wednesday night fights is really badass, man. I always like playing. It was like an eighty man bracket, so it's always good to play. Um, and what else was there to talk? Yeah, that guy. He called Richard. <laughs> I think I, I I didn't hear him, but apparently he called Richard. Uh. Or Bison, a gimmicky, uh, like a g player. And I was like, all right. Because I've never seen fucking LPM play that. It's like Bison. Just straight gimmicks. But like, Cammy's like crazy. Like, well, why? <laughs> Jesus, like. There's no reason that Cammy should lose to fucking Bison. <laughs> like, unless you're just a bad player. So get wrecked. Like, but, that's but, all I got to say about that shit. But everyone did really good. And like, guys, I'm always proud of um, my SC boys when we go up there, man. It's always fun. Um, yeah, and then Saturday is Vanguard, man. So hopefully, if you guys can make it to Vanguard. Um, you make it out. I'll be going. Um, I don't know. I didn't ask you. I know Toki's going because there's Guilty Gear and Turbo. But Toki will go because uh, Guilty Gear. I don't know if Javi's going. I think Jed's busy. Um, Javi, if you want to go, you know, can't I'm go. down to, you know, take you. Whatever. Javi can't go. Javi can't go. Um, I know Rich is going. It's pretty cool, too, because I guess there's, like, a whole team thing. And then, like, you get points. You get, like, a free Evo trip or something. I don't know. It sounds pretty badass. Um, but I don't know what else to talk about. We talked about the Emperor's Cup. We talked about... You know, Wednesday Night Fights is with Badass. Um, is there anything else we're missing, guys? I'm gay. Uh, I'm gay. Rev 2. Talk we about, talk about Rev, Rev 2. Two. Rev Layer 2 is out, man. Oh, in Rev Japan. 2 out. Puck Champ. Is it in, is out in Japan? That's badass, dude. Yeah. All right. Well, you know, I guess we could talk Let's about go. more about that when the game comes out, when we actually see it in action or even see Yo, more. Oh, dude. We can talk about the Street Fighter Five moves. Oh, Jesus horrible. Christ. Okay, well, what? you can start off with this one, man. What do you think about these Street Fighter Five changes? What changes? Okay, I mean, the changes seem great. Well, I mean, the, 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 new moves the moves in action. So the moves bad. in action. What? That, no, no. What, what do you think of the moves like in action? Like, yeah, so like you, just, you just cut out. Like, it just, yeah, you start you talking, you cut and out. you just stop. Oh, I'm sorry. So what do you... Uh, okay. I haven't seen any of them, so... They look I so have... shitty. Okay. I mean, they look so Heard... bad. It looks like a Wait, fucking no. four-year-old anime. Does Kami though. have, like, a 360 spin move? Yeah, it looks so... In it looks air... like a fucking El Fuerte throw, dude. It looks yeah, so bad. Yeah, I've seen bad. that. Yeah, that looks sick, dude. That Can't shit wait. looks so stupid, man. <laughs> That's All, all those new I've moves, seen. like... Oh, good I, good job for putting new moves in the game, I guess. But, like, could you at least fucking animate them? They look like shit. Yeah, you know his new sparse... Uh, yeah, dude, this is... Andrax has the link. Dude. Dance Slash is kind of weird, so... That's all I have to say. Skeef's new move. Yeah, check it out, dude. That's what it is. That's not it. That's it, dude. Triox has the link. Yeah, that looks cool, though. All right, is there anything else you guys want to talk about the the new moves? They look like shit. Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay, to be fair, though, if Kami... Okay, if Mika had that air throw, do you think that would be for her? It looks like it's, it's supposed oh, yeah. to be like... It, it looks like it was made for a wrestling character. Yeah. Like like... Kami. <laughs> It looks like shit, dude. Yeah, it looks pretty bad, man. Um, so I think we're done. Uh, we'll go into our, uh, you know, the hotter knots and the callouts. Um, so we always start. Let's start off with Vince. Vince, we'll start off with you today, man. We're you doing the hotter knot and the callouts, dude. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, the callout is like really fucking easy this time. Is anybody that thinks invitational tournaments should take precedence over an actual real life tournament, not for fourth graders? Like, if you think that's real and you're like not just trying to be funny, go fuck hmm. yourself. <laughs> um, hot or not, daily. Um, I feel like it's too easy. You know, just no. You're right. It's not hot. I know. What? Um, no. Hot or not? I don't know. I don't really have one this week, so I'm not gonna try to force one. But uh, the Ebony Ooh. Goddess of the Week. Is gonna be Skin Diamond. This is a totally safe for work picture of her, so I'll just link that there. So it's not. And yeah, go ahead, Will. That's on you. Funnies and honeys. Okay, I'll open this at work. Funnies and is this a malware? Yeah, it is. Uh, Peace safe. Oh my god! Oh, dude. today's got the link, dude. You can see everything. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a good link for the bail. I know. You can definitely see everything. Why? <laughs> you can't see it. You're still up, dude. Hello, Will. What? Hey, it's your turn, man. You're supposed to go. Is it? Yeah. Who's the fuck else is it supposed to be? That was it. <laughs> I thought you... 
I didn't hear my whatever. Um, sorry, sorry guys. I'm pretty unprofessional right now. Um, right now, <laughs> right. Uh, my callouts. Uh... <laughs> yeah, my callouts still the same guy at my uh, temp agency because um, <laughs> I was actually um, applying at another job. Uh, at the time that I got a call from him, and he's like, "Hey, man, you want? Um, I got this job lined up. It's uh, pays whatever. Uh, it's at this like, oh, it's he. Oh, first he says, oh, it's right here in Escondido, and I'm like, oh, okay, you know, I live there, right? And then I'm like, okay, so like, what's the job? And he's like, oh, uh, give me a sec. And then he like starts like shuffling all these papers and um, all this crap, and I'm like, dude. You don't even know, you called me, you don't even know what the job is? Like, that's what I'm thinking, right? And so that was, like, pretty sick. And then he's, like, telling me what the job is and blah, blah, blah. And then I'm I'm, I'm telling him, like, oh, well, I'm applying to this uh, job right now. And he's like, oh, well, it starts tomorrow. So I'm like, oh, well, okay, well, I guess let's fucking give it to me then, you know? But, uh, I don't know, my call is that guy for, like, being shitty and, like, doesn't really know what's going on, and then I don't know. He's just not all there for some reason, and then, like he doesn't have all his facts straight and information ready. Uh, nice, uh, Dre. Yes. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's it. Um, that's my call out. Uh, what else? Hot or not? Uh, Minna Ash. Wait, is that her name? <laughs> yeah, that's her name. I'm Ash. Yeah, mid Ash. Uh, what do you guys think? Hot or not? Uh, yeah, super uh, hot, dude. She was at Wednesday Night Fights today, man. With her Switch playing Zelda, man. With the, the vibrator? Yeah, that's my bird. <laughs> All right. All right, um, so are you done? Yeah, uh, she's not hot, so. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> Kidding. Uh, I think that's it, right? Um, yeah. Hot or not? Call out. I got a bitch. Um, see you at the next tournament. Yeah. All right. Uh, my hot or not will be uh, just once night fight wise. It'll be a uh, Titty Kaboom, also known as Kitty Kaboom. She was there. Uh, she, yeah. I don't know. It's just whatever. The nose. It's pretty um hype. Uh, and then she kept laughing about my name. Um, and also uh, eye bags. So you're in. What? Yeah. Also uh. My other Hollow Knight will... I'll just call her Eyebags. So if you know who I'm talking about, Wait. it's her. What? Oh, yep. Yeah. So, you, yeah. What? The question? What question? I, mean, I thought we'd been over it. Hot or not? It's like... It's like a discussion, but I guess... Well, Eyebags and kid, Titty Kaboom. And then my bitch con is... Um, myself... And not. And not. <laughs> there. <laughs> Bitch calling is myself for uh, yesterday. Um, I'm, I won't go uh, too into it, but um, messing up the hotter. <laughs> for fucking up the hotter not for the twenty, the seventy eighth week in a row. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> Got it. But yeah, there's not much to say. Um, all I gotta say is hopefully you guys all come through tomorrow for the for um, the Empress Cup, and then um, if you guys can make a car full of girl to get to Vanguard on Saturday, um, I'm probably gonna, I'm it. I'm gonna get food. <laughs> After this, I just ordered some wings on uh, online, so I'm gonna get some wings and then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna play some. I'm gonna stream. I don't know what I'm gonna stream, but I'm gonna stream. I don't have work tomorrow, um, and yeah, that's about it. Uh, thank you, like always, guys, for coming out and or um, you know for the podcast. I really do appreciate you guys. Yep. I appreciate everyone to the scene. Um, and do you guys want to add anything else to it before I? Dre, do you want do you want to order wings online and? Eat outside the, the house or what, man? I'm not trying to, you know, what? Well, Netflix and chill. Dude, why not make it? Why not just make it an event, dude? We're going tomorrow. At least I am. Yeah, but every time you guys go to Wingstop is when I'm working. Where do you get wings from? Yeah, or not working, yeah, but when? Yeah, whatever. So anything, 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 anything? Uh, Questions? Where would you get the wings from? Wingstop. They deliver? No, I just ordered online and I he ordered it online. And then you pick it up. Yeah. And then we play. And then you eat it. And then you then you play. <laughs> Yeah, that's cool. Is it by yeah. your house? Yeah. Yeah. Cool, man. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to stream Street Fighter. If you guys want to play, you're more than welcome. Will, Vince, like always, thank you, thank you, thank you. 
And uh, we'll see you guys all tomorrow, man. Uh, take care and good night. All right, bye. Okay.